So, like, it's time to glue this booger back and let's see the finished result. To be honest, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use gloves just in case so I don't carry any dirt from my fingers onto that red carpet. With black carpet, with dark colors, it's easier to work with because if you get them, if you get some sort of dirt on your hands, you're not gonna see it. But when you've got like bright colors, it's a nightmare. So might as well do it properly. Use gloves and save yourself a hassle of redoing things all over again. And voila, that's it now, done properly, no dirt marks, no nothing, there is one black spot but that kit, that's, for some reason it has like little black dots in this carpet, so unfortunately there's nothing that I can do about it, it's the manufacturer's error really, apart from the dog hair which I fucked the dog, but that's it so now the next step is like i said you've got these holes now that need to be opened up you need to use something hot like a soldering iron with a thin end on it or you can use the uh, sorry the stanley blade but soldering iron is better because it opens it up properly and there's no nothing in the way of it so i'm just gonna can proceed and burn these holes out whenever it's ready to be hot <laughs> Well, and that's it. That's the, all the holes have been burnt out now. See, it reveals them better than what it would do with the with the what you call it. I just forgot the Stanley blade. And then once you finished it, you put it, position it back in the place. Push it back in the place. And 
and basically I like to just put a little bit of super glue on some of these pins just so when you start putting your proper stuff on it's not really moving a lot apart so just along a couple of these that are seated in properly uh, that will help to hold them in place for the time while the proper stuff is drying obviously sometimes it's not going to work out sometimes you have to just kind of just go for it really and <laughs> hope for the best So that's it and now you can actually see it looks quite good, nearly finished. The only last thing that is left to do is to put the proper sealant on. And this one doesn't want to sit properly. See the reason why I'm doing this is because if it's not in all the way in you will see you will see like light shining through through one of the sides so that means it's not seated in properly you'll see a little gap that will knock all the looks or just inspect it before you put the final sealant on uh, basically basically this should be ready I'll give it a five then I'll inspect it again no that looks cool to me looks fine to me apart from this one little shit so once that goes on that sets uh, what we'll be using uh, obviously you can use me any other sealing things and stuff like that but what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be using tiger seal uh, to put onto these and around from underneath and make it like a C, C looking clamp so it attaches to the door cord and then goes over the the, co the cover itself uh, also you can depends like I'm saying depends what you're gonna have you can also just put it all the way around there and see it on top if it's easier if it's easier that way it really depends from door card to a door card not all the door cards are the same and not all the manufacturers using the same principle of mountain things but here we have the the very beloved tiger seal and what I normally do is I kind of fill it inside there and then I go from the inside to fill it up and then point it on the top like that so I don't know if you can see now you can it so I'm gonna bring it back to there so this is what I'm gonna try and bring the I know I can't right it doesn't matter so this is what I'm doing I'm kind of filling it from the outside there so it seeps in and then putting stuff inside and over and once it dry that will act as a C clamp so it's not gonna 
I'm not going to let it go anywhere, so that works for me. Obviously, you can use silicon. Uh, any grab adhesive, really, that will hold it on. You could even use hot glue if it's not really like in a certain place where people are always leaning on or blah 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 you can use hot glue that will hold it in place um, apart from that I can't really think of anything else I need like sealing glue sort of stuff will be good enough but yeah I'm gonna just proceed and finish all these all the way around and that's going to be through the finished product. Well, that's it. That's the sealant's been applied now, and leave it for 24 hours with a tiger seal, and that will that will be good enough for it. But there you go. That's the finished product. There's no holes, no everything's perfect. And once that dries, you can just put it back in and you've got yourself a upgraded facelifted door card. So I'm going to leave this to dry and what we'll do is we'll, I'm going to crack on with the second one, with the next one. So I'm going to crack on with the next one and then I will show you all the four door cards finished because it's exactly the same for the other one. You just need to take off some other bits and bobs off before you actually can do it. But it's basically exactly the same on the other door card. I just want you to show on this one. So give me probably about half an hour. That's what it takes. Half an hour to an hour to do one of these door cards. And I'll show you what that one looks when it's all finished. So. Give us half an hour, like I said, and I'll show you the finished product. And the other one is all done. There we go. I'll use the clamp to hold it in place, but there you go. Perfectly fine. Perfect. Just a little clean off, tidy up, and uh, get rid of some hairs and that. And, and that's it. That's them all done. This one's drying already, so that will be ready for tomorrow. So is that, and then we'll be putting them back on. Basically, yep, yeah, that's it. Really, peeps, uh, that's what you've got to do. Obviously, there might be a different, different, uh, different ways of, of doing it as well because. Like I said, every dog that is different and you probably, some of them you wouldn't even be able to do it because of how the arrangement goes and um, and all the rest of the stuff. But Mark IV Golf definitely works and any, really any that will have a slot insert <coughs> in the middle of the dog card. It will work this way will work obviously give us some tips if I've got if you know something more than what I don't if you've got something better quicker way around it and uh, stuff like that but this is how I'm doing it I'm gonna wait now these getting dry and put them back in a car so thanks a lot for watching peeps like and share I haven't been active very lately I know this is what it is sometimes I'm um, just hold up with jobs that I don't really film anything about but if I do get a chance I obviously get me camera out straight away and get it all in so but yeah thanks a lot thanks for all the comments for the support like and share subscribe please if you haven't already thanks everybody who subscribed and well I'll see you in the next GA style uh,
movies, <laughs> movies, whatever. But yeah, ta peeps. Ciao.